So, okay, this is Nick Fuentes' chat the other day after he had to cancel his show. He left them waiting for three hours. Shut the show down. Shut the show f***ing down. Look at what oh, they oh, say. This yeah, I saw this. Who knew the death of the movement was this end's laziness? Whoa. This end Nick, the laziest revolutionary leader ever. This is his people, by the way. <laughs> Nick just went live right now on the Tucker Carlson network. Nick should honestly retire. Mexican work ethic. <laughs> Is he this needs our guys? some milk. No, these are his people that watch it every night. Remember when he used to get six thousand a night? Are the Rumble Boomers right? So this is the stuff that's going on over in Groiperland. They're not really that happy. <laughs> no, you don't say. Uh, so Nick comes on with his explanation uh, as to why he didn't do a show is the this... next day. The next day. The next day he f managed to start the time? show. It was two hours late. But, okay. you know, that's not bad for it's him. It's still good. Yeah, yeah it's still it, good. It just begins with him just looking down like this, just down. I like how we're like, that's pretty good. Two hours, not bad. Salted. You know. Sad. I'm a little congested today. I don't know what's been going on. Yesterday, I got a little sick. I was going to do a show yesterday, and then yeah. I just uh, had a lot of problems. Yesterday, I was so congested, I couldn't breathe out of my nose. At least fucking tweet. <laughs> Wait. He couldn't even breathe. Is this a... No, it's not. No, man. It's like, is he falling apart? He is. Bro, listen, I would tell I'm 36. It just gets I worse. I can't now. breathe. It just gets worse. At all. Then I took this app. Me and Ashton watched the Man Tracker for Gum Road. And the guy was like, I'm 40. What is it, 46? And I'm like, that's me Ash, am I going to be there in 10 years? You're like, yeah. I'm like, I, I actually got sad on the fucking So Nick is showing off his butt plug now on Whoa! stream. This is now how he starts the broadcast by showcasing butt plugs. Look at and that. sex toys. Look in his eyes there. You just see pain. You just see <laughs> suffering. Uh, He's like, I had to put this up my ass. You know? Man. Story of my life. Nasal spray? And I don't know if it was this or if it was because it was expired, but I took this and it opened up my nose, but then my nose was tingling all night and I was having this terrible uh, like nasal drainage, like my nose was running uncontrollably. And I don't know if, I know that's a side effect of Afrin because I've taken this before and I've had that before, but it was really- Why do we imagine, need to know this? Imagine. Imagine you watch Tucker Carlson, right? No, no, imagine you f***ing waited one whole night for this f***ing shitty show. It doesn't show up. It's late the next day and this is the opening? This was the opening. This is how he started the show. Can kill me. Look at him. Look yeah, at his, like did I, you see his eyes there? He looked off uh, before. And I've had that before, but it was really bad. Like, I, I couldn't <laughs> was breathe at all yesterday. Off. I was about to go live and I just couldn't breathe. And I took this and my nose was tingling and was running. And I was just literally went through like a whole roll of toilet paper blowing my nose. Sounds like a night for me. <laughs> And I just lost my mind. I started throwing stuff, Don't punching stuff. So, I mean, he's being dead serious. Like, he actually just lost his mind, started throwing shit, breaking shit, punching shit. Imagine you're Tyler Russell, the illegal snowback in Nick's basement. Yeah. And you're just, like, hearing What's from the upstairs, on? like, glass smashing, just, like, just slurs and swearing from upstairs. Guy just blowing his nose loudly. I was frustrated. Then I was about to go live and Where then my, wait, no. my internet crashed for like a half hour. So I was like, you know what? I he's give get, up. Like I'm Ricada, done. he's getting kicked in the balls by life, but man. What's going on? And he's with making all it the people. audience's problem. Is he's like, let me let me let you know about my personal grievances in life. Yeah. I know you're here for me to fucking tell you the news and get political analysis, but let me just give you the update on my health <laughs> for like 10 minutes. 
I'm cooked. I didn't even want to go live to begin with yesterday because there was nothing to talk about. I was tired. I was ready to go to bed. Then I have all these problems. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. I don't feel good lately. I feel like shit all the time. This is just depression. You know, like, Buddy, at what depression. point did any other, like, political leader in history fire Ever. up a speech and start talking about how they feel like shit all the time, they can't breathe, they're dying, they're having fits of rage, breaking shit. Buddy. Look at him here. Look at how felted he looks in this What's image. What's happening to everyone we talk about? It's just like, well, we were going to play Ralph, but it's just sad. <laughs> Cog is just crying. This black and he's in his the... 20s, too. It's not like he's in his 70s or 80s where you might, like, want to know how the old man's doing. Well, well, that's what I was saying, by the way, earlier, where I said, look, I'm 36. Fucking shit. Hello, Fucking shoot, me. shoot me in the face. We were, like, half an hour into the show and you were talking. Did you see me do this? Randomly, my elbow's like, I'm going to start hurting now. I'm like, fuck. That happens, Nick. Your elbow randomly starts hurting. Did you know this, Nick? This, th this should be the prime. You're the best and fittest, the best you'll feel. It's I got to get really into drugs. Don't call me I think it. Look at this, this yeah, is a solution. Did you hear don't what call. he just said? What? That's Wait. shit all the time. I got to get really into drugs. I think that's the next arc. He needs to get into drugs. Please. Please. I think he's going to. Please, please. Bro, do some That's what he it. says he's going to do. For real? Hit play. Is I got to get really heavy into drugs. I started at what? Because I Ready? hate the way I feel all the time. Stomach aches. I started late. F tired. Nasal congestion. This is going to rule. I just feel like garbage. So I don't know what I need to do, but something radical. I'm thinking maybe heavily into illicit drugs. And I don't know. I'll start with uh, amphetamines or something and ramp up maybe He's to gonna start uh, heroin. He's going to start with and then maybe heroin. So Nick's already planning out his side arc. He's talked about how his uncles were addicted and died as heroin addicts. Multiple family members have died of heroin so Nick is so depressed, so blackpilled with his life, because he's going to detail that he's, like, just incredibly blackpilled as well. Okay. So not only is he physically suffering and just in horrible health, but his mental health is f***ed. He sees no hope for anything. He's totally blackpilled. And so he's planning to just shoot up heroin and die in a gutter somewhere. You watched the whole show, right? Yeah. This is how it started. Yeah. When he finished his segment, did he just go... Anyway, about Gaza. Basically, yeah. That's nuts to me. Yeah. That's nuts to me. Off the street. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I don't feel good. What do you do for nasal congestion? Coke. You know what's weird about it is I never had... They say it's a deviated septum. Because, of course, I go to the ENT. And okay, so that's what it is. What is it? He says it's a deviated septum. Well, he's not willing to do the tests that they want him to do oh. to get healthy. Yeah. And every time I go, they do a scan and they say, well, you have this terrible deviated septum. But, you know, I never had a problem with this until I went to Idaho with Millennial Matt and Faith Goldie and Lauren Rose back in, like, July 2019. I swear. And I came back. And ever since, I've had sinus problems. So I have no idea so what happened. It. So he went on this wilderness trip where they went out to, like, this, like, fucking cabin in the woods that Millennial Matt has. And he blames this whole thing on this trip. Not on his, like, shitty diet, his deviated septum, his test tube what baby genetics. Millennial Matt, guy who took off Tim Pool's hat, right? Yeah. Uh, Faith Goldie and Nick Fuentes? Yeah. What a trio. James says he went there with Venti as well. Whoa! Um, well, that's what... Somebody said maybe he has tick disease. What I was thinking is maybe he has Lyme disease? Like, maybe yeah. Yeah, like maybe he had, like, a tick got into him and has been f***ing him up? Maybe. Trip. I swear I thought it was something on that trip. That's what I thought initially. And then... 
I've just had all these problems ever since. Someone said maybe he's just a f <laughs> That could work too. I mean, that's the simplest explanation, <laughs> isn't it? That's like Occam's Razor in action. So I don't think it's possible that it's the deviated septum. But you know what? Right around that time, I also got a dog. So I don't know if, and I was allergic to the dog. So I don't know if it was the dog and it was living with the dog that maybe caused a I chronic know Nick problem. is now. Nick is Kyle's cousin from South Park. Problem or like initiated a chronic Bro. problem. I don't know what happened. It's a, it's a great mystery. But at the same time, I also went to the ENT, and the last time I went, they said, well, we're going to numb your nose up, and we're going to send something up there. And I said, no, we're not doing that, actually. Just let's just wrap it up, actually. And they're like, oh, okay, well, we're going to refill your prescription for Flonase. And she got kind of shitty with me. I'm like, look, I don't want you to stick something up. Your show sucks. You suck. <laughs> he's terrible. What's wrong with you? He, like Nick. the nurse gets shitty with him because he's not willing to go through what he needs to do he to has, get help. He has no sense of anything outside himself. Well, yeah, it's just total like narcissism. narcissism. Egotistical. Well, yeah, it's, it's all existence for his own fucking self gratification. It's a total cult. It's like Nick. It's, it's like Nick. Uh, what's his name? Oh my God, Nick Kata. Why am I feeling horrible and life sucks? Well, you're an alcoholic. No, I'm not. It's like, listen, we are somehow like the meanest people on the fucking internet. You give the best advice to everyone. Cog, don't flag people. Nick Cato, stop drinking. Fucking Nick Fuentes, stop being a fucking Work at it. Oh, we're evil. I mean, there's really no good advice for him. I mean... I, I don't even know what That's to tell him at this saw, point. I mean, he's I basically That's ruined his, his entire life. Yes. He knows he's ruined his entire life. He's a miserable piece of shit all day. And that's why he's considering yeah. becoming a heroin addict. Seriously. I don't even think he's kidding with that. Do we... If they just listened to us, then go, oh! My nose, can you just tell me what's wrong? Anyway, I don't well, know they why. Can't, anyway, they anyway. can't tell you what's wrong without examining your nose, bro. I don't want things going up my nose. Well, then we can't well, figure out how to help you. And then it's like, I want bro science witch doctor bullshit from my chat, but not really because when they give me their bro science, I tell them they're full of shit. And then I don't let the doctors do the work they need on me to know either. Then you're so you're f***ed. You don't even have like witch doctor poll shit or in real doctor advice nothing what are you gonna do i'm just frustrated i'm asked this is a cry for help can they get anyone i mean he just said let's go this is a cry for help. like do we add that to the soundboard <laughs> because this is a cry for help no. it says dude can't go to a sporting event because of the buzzer do you really think he can go to the doctor Anyway, so that's what I've been dealing with. I don't know what I'm going to do. The problem is this stuff really works, but oh, you God, can't God, use it every day. I So I just used it last night. I haven't used it again. You know, you can only use this stuff like three days in a row because then you get addicted to it. You develop a dependency. And I you read these horror stories where people get addicted and they need to shoot it up all day just to have any kind of uh clearance and then if they don't use it they literally suffer withdrawal symptoms and i don't mean just rebound congestion i mean they literally get withdrawals because it is an amphetamine your whole body gets addicted to it so what the hell i don't know what to do i you start to think about just like what if i just jammed like a pencil up there with that <laughs> would that would that open it up if i just jammed up like a, a balloon and i know that's one thing they do but what if i just what used like a party balloon and shoved it up there what and was his chat up? saying at this time they're like can we get to the story this well like... a lot of them are offering solutions but then he doesn't like the solutions and that they read offer them? yeah would that help yeah that's what every great leader says i don't know what to do he can't even run his own life, but he wants to run yours. You know what I mean? Like, 
And then this chair is squeaking. So Get I just ready. have all these problems lately, and I don't know how to solve any of them. Oh, my God. I just don't even know what to do with all of that. <laughs> Can you hear this chair? Oh, buddy, guys, I saw this clip. I should have never broke that first chair. That was the that was. No, this guy's supposedly a multi-millionaire, but can't purchase Buy a, chair a chair that's fit for purpose. That's not a squeaky chair. Yeah. Figure it out, man. I know. Is he just flat broke? Did all the money? Where'd the hundred and seventy grand go? You know. Oh, Surely the foundation wait. could buy you a chair. Isn't the ballot harvesting supposed to start happening now? Or is well, there... remember when he said he was gonna build a studio by this point? Somebody Let's asked him about that. And? Get ready. It was really the beginning of the end of this show. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. I already was dealing with enough, then I broke the chair. Now it squeaks every time I move. Oh my God. So it's really, it's over. It's yeah. over. Yeah. Like, you know. Like, like <laughs> let's forget. This like, is a cry he's for like, help. Listen, it is a cry for help. It's like. This guy's claiming he's going to overthrow, like, the New World Order. He's going to destroy the Jewish people. He's going to restore Christianity to America. He's going to enlighten the masses. All this. But first, we have to solve the issue of the chair. Yeah. We're unable to solve it's the over. issue. This guy's unable to purchase WD-40 to stop the squeak in the chair. Bro. Or just unable to purchase a new just chair. It's been like over a week. You have a car, right? He can't even buy fix his chair, chair, let alone the country. And Order a chair. I don't Order know what one. to do. Call f***ing whatever American version of Staples you have and go, I want that. Listen, I don't really give a f what your analysis is about the Gaza war. When your chair is When broken, you can't, can't even fix your out. chair, sir. Buddy, the CQ. What is this there? Okay. Uh, He'll okay, blame anyway. the sod for the chair as well. You know? It was Gabe Hoffman's tactical op against the chair. He like weakened the chair's structural support with Jewish laser beams from the floor. <laughs> like this is what we're meant to believe. And not that Nick destroyed the chair in a fit of rage. Or do what I did. This chair is squeaky. You know what I, I started doing? Just being conscious of moving around yeah. instead of buying a chair. Oh, yeah, so I've been pretty blackpilled lately. That's the oh. other thing. I'm kind of like, you know, maybe we just give up. Like, that is this rule. seriously, go, is this so. seriously your leader, Groypers? Hey, I, I have to do something. Is this you serious talk, you your leader? Like, uh. he says he's going like, to cry for help. And then he's just like, I'm really blackpilled lately. I think that we should just give up. But trust the plan, bros. Trust the plan. This is the leader. He's telling us all to just give up. This is a horrible psyop to just ruin your life and make you depressed. He's like, just give up. We won. Yeah, we won. We won. He's destroyed. Let's get some summer. It took us two he's years. Been really we did really blackpilled lately, and he's about to give up. Gabe's just been he winning caught. too much lately. <laughs> As this Ron Oons article, I read this article from Ron Oons a few days ago. Maybe you should stop reading and articles article, and go outside. I think outside. I talked about this last week. See the sun, man. Touch the grass. Enjoy life, man. You know, like maybe you gotta stop reading these articles. They're making you fucking depressed and fucked up, man. Me. Like what's the benefit of all this incredible knowledge that he has and political insight? If he's when just a broken up. down, miserable, depressed, unhealthy bum who's just in horrible torment all the time, both mentally and physically. Yeah, yeah, but I can name all the presidents in order. Good for you, son. You know, I... That's a fun parlor trick. I, I watched him do it. He did name every president. First, he tried to name all the presidents backwards and he couldn't do it. And he was seething. It's like drinking, and then he figured you know, it like out. The, yeah. The, y, uh, Z, you know, the alphabet backwards. I, I would fail that shit. I but he, he did it. I was impressed. Like, he got all the presidents in a row. I'm like, that's great. But what good does it avail you, sir? When you're like, it's over. It's over. The chair's broken, folks. And the article is about how Elon Musk, when you think about it, is really the most powerful individual in the Western world. Okay. 
because he controls Tesla and SpaceX and Twitter. And that portfolio really makes him more powerful. It doesn't powerful. feel right with fucking Nick. Powerful than any other. It, doesn't feel, it feels like we're cheating on DVDR, yeah. you know what I mean? Poor guy. American. That was his thing. And, I know. And he said that even Elon Musk was forced to bow to Jewish power. <laughs> Let's go, felt it, etc. Yeah! Why? Yeah! Why do you try to impress Gabe all the time? It's That's happening! Let's that's Gay why. Nick's just so sad. He's like, even my hero, Elon Musk, had to kneel to the Jews. Woo! Woo! That Elon Musk was... Uh, folks, I said this to you yesterday on Gumroad. Did you know they did the first, like, implant of the fucking whatever, the, the neural implant, and they healed? And the guy could move his mouse... With his brain? With his brain. And they said that you'll be able to type right and think like words and type and send it i'm like you know intrusive thoughts are a thing like mine would be like you were saying this to me you know what I mean? yeah this is like a gum road like i'm like jesus donate subs with your brain you know what i mean someone thinks of do donating a sub and like how would you stop the intrusive thought you know what i mean Imagine Vito with a neural link, what his tattoo look like. Oh, buddy. It's a scary on the verge of... whole... Dude, and by the way, can we see this person and show the evidence it's moving? We have to say, yeah, we I believe you. have to take his word for it. He's lied so many times in yeah. the past. How many monkeys died from this neural link? Like, they tried it on monkeys and they died. So, like, oh, the, the 73rd monkey died, but the first human, it worked? We'll see. Shut up. Of winning his battle with the ADL earlier in 2023. And then the war in Gaza broke <laughs> out. And the then, link is, I don't believe the neural link. It's all bullshit. Elon was forced to capitulate and travel to Auschwitz, where he said that he was aspirationally Jewish and laughed at the I, 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 that's why I, I, let's go felt it etc yes idea that they made it. him go Gabe. to auschwitz it's so ring it up you know ring it up Gabe Gabe w. it's so they're so fucking, it's, it's amazing they're like <laughs> yes you'll have to go to auschwitz and do the tour it's like whoa they're the bad like they come up with the most creative punishments like it is cool. it's so good it's very I like just love it it's like fear factor style yeah <laughs> <laughs> now listen, you crew. gotta eat this whole bowl of cockroaches. That was the part in private where they were making Elon eat the bugs. <laughs> he was having to sodomize himself with a cucumber and shit like this. We missed out on that part. We got to see the public part though, where he came to Auschwitz. Yeah. Like they built. They, oh man. Oh man, it's funny. Is world Jewry and and that whole scene. The Jews. And then you think the of Jews. Elon Musk. Just out of the context. Jews. The Jews! Forgive me! As Gabe has a cigar. He's in his hot tub. It's like the most expensive. You can't even think about what the Jews! The Jews! And fucking three fucking nude female. Can't beat these guys. We gotta soundboard that, the Jews. We really do. This is a cry for help. Who can? Opening it really blackpilled me because these are heroes. Elon Musk is a hero and he bowed before the Jews. Elon <laughs> Musk so fucked. Like this is how he views the world, you know? And he's just like the... he spends his whole waking hours just seething the about Jews. Jews. He gave us the rocket ship. He gave us the reusable <laughs> he gave rocket, us the ship. rocket ship. The rocket ship. Elon the, the, Musk invented, we didn't go to the moon. Well, at least we better the not get that into that topic. Again. People are going to lose their oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's no, fake. the moon. It's fake. Oh, There's no atmosphere. It's got to be fake. Listen, you get less shit for saying it's fake than it's real, real. now. No, you know People what? People are going to lose their mind. Oh, we didn't go to the moon. There wait, was wait, no wait. rockets. Let's ask Gabe. Gabe, were we on the moon or not? Gabe says we are. He did? I've had co I had oh, conversation with him moon. about this months ago. <laughs> this is a cry for help. He's reaching out to conquer Mars. 
and he was forced to surrender to the Jews at Auschwitz. And so, he, wait, was, wait, wait. he had to so, surrender to the Jews at he's Auschwitz. He's conquering another planet, and the Jews, and the Jews still beat conquer him. him? And, and you're going like, to go against but that, them? But then it's like, listen, if they're that power, don't they just, they, they deserve to win? Yeah. Isn't there like nothing anyone can do then? What I don't know. Mars becomes a full-on Israel? It starts to get to the point where the what Jews are mythologized to such a point. Yeah. Where it's like, I mean, this is honestly part of the PSYOP. Is like to make them like this omnipotent force that yeah. just couldn't possibly ever be resisted. Yeah, exactly. Like, you'd think they'd own all of Europe. So, apparently, everybody on Rumble hates Kanye. Oh, okay. And so, Nick's angry at those commenters on Rumble, and he's going to say to them, F*** you. But wait, but our clip channel has just released a video of us watching him hate Kanye. I know. Well, in the next clip, he's going to snake Kanye. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Remind me all the time. Fuck you! All Fuck you commenters me. that watch this show, eat shit. All these people. <laughs> all of you who watch this show, eat shit. That's, that's a, hey, Andy Ash. <laughs> He's lost his mind. Andy Ash. Any Rumble stream where I mention Kanye West, all the commenters oh, Rumble, go, Rumble. I don't want to why Nick likes Kanye. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you, okay? He was my hero. I love him. I love his. I wonder why your show's on a fucking steep decline. Yeah. Music. I love him as a guy, and even he. As a guy, what are you gay? This is a cry for help. Is now making degenerate I rap love... again. <laughs> it's so good, right? And, and apologize to the Jews. And I'm like Kylo Ren. Okay. I'm looking at the no. blown up mask of Darth Vader, Wait. and I'm like, this we've reached two the... and a half years ago. No. To, like, near the start of the show, we did a very similar, where he's Star Wars, like. It's again with the Star Wars, like hit the cry, for, like this is a, This is a cry for help. It, it is, really a, is, it really it is, is, man. Yeah, like, he's even... talking about how he's Kylo Ren. It's not even any of the good Star Wars that he's referencing now. You know? He's had to reference the sequels. That's how you know he's about to go on heroin. Yeah. <laughs> like. I will finish what you started. I'm looking at the... Don't say that. <laughs> so, he's looking at Hitler Let's and Mein Kampf. Like he's, he's like, I will finish what you started. But, like, Nick, don't say that. He's about to go off. He's like, oh, man. That's like... He looks like a Pepe there, doesn't he? Yes. That is a full-on Pepe. He's become a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> it me. I was gonna say something else, but with that quote, Jeez, uh, Kino that would not go over well. If I said what I was about to say with that quote from Star Wars, it would not. People would interpret that completely the wrong way. And these black people are taking over it, our country. It just cuts to. Let's go. These black people are taking over our country. Okay. This chair. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the freeze frame where he's in like midair. That quote from Star Wars would not, people would interpret that completely the wrong way. And these black people are taking over our country. You can see, you can see. Okay, this chair. <laughs> right there, right there, look at him, man. Ooh. It looks like a fucking Wait. huge, he looks like he's <laughs> on a fire hydrant, water shot up his ass. <laughs> He looks like he's taking the, the meanest dump in the fucking world and like the shit spraying out of his ass propelling him. I'm a rocket man. He's just like, look, he's launched himself into space. Like, look at that, man. He's not even wearing <laughs> His hairline's destroyed as well. Oh my God, you're right. This is it. Like, how can you take this shit seriously? This For is real. So, it's like a Metal Gear Solid 1 character. The eyes, the way it's rendered there. 
This chair has gotta go, man. Samba grow. <laughs> One more time. Hey. Unpause. Okay. This chair. <laughs> this chair has gotta go, man. You know, I imagine in his mind he thinks he's like Hitler raging in the bunker or something. <laughs> but he actually just looks like a toddler in his high chair spazzing out. Like. <laughs> Samba grow I percent ten dollars. This news cycle is gay. <laughs> Look at how sad he looks there, man. This is like midway through the super chats. His eyes are totally glazed over. Oh my god. Can you share anything about the new studio? Thank <laughs> That uh oh. Uh oh! Thank you for everything you do. Uh, no, but no. What he doesn't run, have run. home run. I love Does, this. Doesn't have any new information Funniest to share clip about the of, of Nick in the world. Funniest clip of Nick. Thank it you. honestly was. It's like that this, was the, this oh is like a God. banger for Wentes. Like oh, the, one of man. the best. That clips. everything that had like depression, the like health issue, the being like just so fucked. I mean, he went, through, on Super he went through, like, every stage of grief. Lord so here he's Bullock. talking about Bullock. Kanye. Okay. And he's talking about when they worked for Kanye, Kanye didn't even like the word bullet. Just listen to this. He hated the word bullet and point. That it was so... Get ready. It was a little difficult talking to him. We used to laugh about this on the team because he, he would subtract, like, 80% of the words we could use. It's like... Try to construct this sentence. It's like that scene in SpongeBob when he's like, when. It's like that, that scene, scene in, in SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Cringe! Cringe Patrick. alert, folks! Because, like, I think Arg, he's trying Arg to say Arg land. Because he'd oh, yeah, be talking. I know what he's talking about. You don't know. No, you I was gonna say, you actually did on Gumroad reference Spongebob for something. What did I reference? I forgot, you but you're like, that's like when Patrick and like, you're like, I'm like, but, yeah. So, <laughs> maybe he was here, on like, this what show, he's I don't know. saying here is so crazy. <laughs> the fact that he actually campaigned for this insane psychopath, even after knowing all of this shit, like after working on the team and learning firsthand just how insane schizophrenic and Kanye is that he still psyoped people into supporting him and making them look fucking foolish mm. is shameful. Like, listen to what he's about to say. Here. I remember it wasn't even an episode. We saw someone who was fat, but they were square shaped. We oh. paused it, and you're like, he looks like SpongeBob because he's square shaped. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> okay, anyway, that happened, I think. Talking to him and he'd be like, yeah, no. James says think... he had kids dox themselves for yes. students for yay. People were how actually think, like signing up for this stupid doxed. shit. Exactly. Caesar was doxxed, not even joking, by him when they scanned his fucking. His well, license. at AFPAC too. Yep. He showed up his, all of his documents to Nick. Idiot. Don't say bullet. No. Oh, you see Caesar working with me, No, no, don't Smart say. Smart move point don't say that don't say i don't say if don't, i'm not making any of this up so imagine trying oh. to run a campaign where you can't say if i me he's that he's like mentally unstable either. point like and every time you say i mean it's just it's nonsense well, my favorite word, it's like the like this guy Let's... is so out of touch with reality yeah so delusional and privileged and pampered and used to everybody babying him and doing what he wants he's on the level of like an old like roman caesar like caligula that would make like his horse a senator or fucking uh, order his soldiers to fight the sea did i photoshop this whoa we do thicky that's... nicky thicky nicky yo nick Oh my god, is he being like strangled? It's like AI made this, no? Well, he smashed his chair because it was so tight. 
Rodgers. Buddy, that looks painful. So I, I would have, I'd have this joke. I would go to people on the they campaign. I'm like, how are we supposed to talk about running a campaign when we can't even say the word campaign? He didn't even want us to say the word campaign. And you still what work the for him? Like the moment the guy like started insisting on this, and fucking like you would just Next. go, guys, I don't know what to tell you. I thought he could be president. But he's clearly insane and not yeah. capable, and I'm sorry. Like, that's what you say. Instantly. You can't f***ing deal. No, let's f*** it. I'm like, we're supposed to strategize about a political campaign without using the words if, but, I, that, campaign? How are you even going to do that? It's making so it looks like he's look kind of stupid yeah. by revealing this stuff. Yeah. Like, and he's then snaking he fired you. Yeah. That you weren't even good enough for the fucking lunatic. You didn't even quit. I pulled that back, and now he's saying fuck, bitch, anal, <laughs> he's saying urine. Now he's Let's saying go. everything. Because he's a now, schizo. Now, anal. I'll say anything. You know, when I was there, definitely no swear words. And you also couldn't say if but that I, uh, you, you know, that. You no, know, honestly, like, like Kanye West really, is, like, shows where society has has fallen well, that people will literally who have money will stand next to him and allow to be like demeaned by a yeah all because clout. they're thirsty for clout like that shows how and, and, low and Nick's our society revealing this has whole come. thing was a clout chasing bullshit grift yeah he's just pulling the total curtain away look guys it's tough this guy dude. was a fucking retard yeah it's tough like to be that guy imagine you make 200k a year you have a house, you have everything with me. Yes, Mr. Yay, sir. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll make stop sure you only get the green m and sir. You're sitting there fucking removing the red ones. He's not even, like, retweeting you or, like, posting your shit, you know? Maybe if he's, like, posting your, like, stream on his Instagram and you become famous, you go, okay, I'll fucking deal with this. But he's not even doing that. No. Kind of thing. Now he's saying, F bitch anal slut <laughs> you know it's like brah so when i'm working for you it's on impossible mode when i'm working for yay it's on deity difficulty i'm having to in real time construct these sentences where i'm like when we when we walk to the White House, we will actualize ideas. Like these are the kinds of sentences we would. I would be like, all right, guys, I'm gone. It was nice knowing all you what, guys. What are you like? Why like, are you putting up with this there. bullshit? It's what? nonsense. You're just what entertaining a fool. You saw his it's eyes. It's just a full-on clown. It's a circus. I want to be in the circus, Daddy, because he's famous, and then I can be famous. Holy! You'd have to construct. Imagine this when is your my... leader, and he took orders from a guy like yeah. that. He went we and got him coffee. Ideas. Yo, for little our... Nicky, get me some coffee, bitch. Group right away, Mr. A... West, sir. You can't say the word campaign. <clears throat> you can't say the word campaign on a presidential campaign. It's over. Hello's working for Ye. They ben get to go and say. Says I'll put money. He's breaking his NDA right now. Well, of well, course he would be it. if he fucking signed it. The thing is, Kanye is so fucked in his mind. Like, and, and there's nobody around him that can even, I don't think, enforce a legal order. No. Unless Milo's gonna figure it out. But Milo's they probably too paper. pilled out of his fucking mind. Everybody around there is just all fucking spiraling on drugs, fucked up. Any person who's mm. competent has got the fuck out of there or been fired. Fuck. Like, as Nick's about to reveal, Kanye would just fire people on a whim. Good. He would just fire, oh like, God. professionals that he needed just on a whim because they said the wrong word or something. You're going to love this comparison. He is Fousey Tube. Yes. Literally. It's the same it's sort the of thing. Same except at guy. least Kanye has some fucking, like, real fame or success to justify acting like that yeah, yeah. whereas fuzzy it's fucking ridiculous is fuzzy streaming i haven't seen him stream so aiden and ross just gave him 50k and then he's like well well there's it's all none of that's even real i don't think i don't think he's getting paid can I get anything. fake 50k let's go felted etc a fake 50k bag it things like beautiful big titty butt naked women don't just fall out the sky 
slut. It's like okay, so the poet of our time. How come it's so? How come it's so hard on me? Why was it so hard for me? Well, I, maybe because I, you just wouldn't stand up to him and you let him completely run the show into the ground like an insane fucking schizoid clown freak. Maybe somebody needed to be an adult in the room and check his fucking terrible impulses. Yeah. And if it wasn't possible to check those impulses, then you walk away. Yeah. I don't know what to say. You but you and Milo that. Yiannopoulos, who are supposedly these alpha male leaders, these charismatic kings oh. or whatever, this is all a cry quivered for help. like bitches in the presence of a fucking rapper and let him fucking run the show as though he had any idea about politics or anything whatsoever. Like, at a certain a point, you have to say, listen here, man. I know what I'm fucking doing. Shut your fucking mouth. Let's go. Like, I don't know. You can't just let this circus go on. And because he let Kanye run the show and fucking be a circus, it ended in a total circus freak disaster. But he knew from the beginning that it would be a failure. From the first time you meet a guy in the room and he's trying to police your speech like that, and acting that irrational and that crazy and that schizophrenic, you know it's going to fail. Yeah. And th so then you're just setting your followers up for failure. For failure, yeah. You're leading them down the primrose path to humiliation and embarrassment for your own personal gain. And it's not even really a gain because you've embarrassed yourself and made yourself look like a fool in politics. But it's not as though he ever even had a path that way anyway. No. All he wanted to do was clout chase off a rapper that he worships. And, it, oh, isn't it cool I'm on the jet with Kanye? So, because he had to go on a jet with Kanye, all of you groipers got fucking completely embarrassed, had to fucking disavow, be humiliated, all of your yay 24, all of your call him yay, and all this stuff. It was all egg on your fucking face. You guys look rated. All of your ideas by association with Kanye are discredited mm -hmm. in the minds of everybody normal. And now your leader looks like a fucking fool and a little kid who was bossed around by a schizophrenic rapper. That's the state of your movement. Yeah. Like for anybody who's not on the inside of the cult, that's what it looks like. The one thing that Kanye could say that wouldn't make them look stupid. It'd be like no slurs, no like uh, attacking this specific. No, you can't use the word but. I understand the no profanity rule. Yeah, I, under, I understand that, and like I think that's pro actually might be a good rule if yeah, you're trying yeah, to run a well, Christian presidential yeah, campaign yeah, yeah. and trying to instill this sense of purity on the team and curry gods here and stuff like that. But this whole like, I don't like the word I, I don't like the word but, I don't like the word bullet, I don't like this, I don't like that. It's just crazy. No, but wait. He can't say I. I know. So why he can't Jayden say? Jaden says gonna stand up to Jews, but can't even stand to up to a rapper. That. Yeah. No, you, you have to rephrase that. He can't say I don't like the the word bullet. So it's not. Instead of campaign, you have to say walk to the White yay House. He doesn't like the word bullet. When we walk to the White House. I don't like when you use the word I. And it's all, this, like, it. it's all this like it's all this gobbledygook cry for about the Bible that he's spewing you know? that he doesn't even understand. None of it's theologically consistent oh, or coherent it. in any way. Like, I can't fucking understand Cat in the Hat. Like, come on, the Bible. Like, he doesn't understand. I like, don't think basic Kanye's pamphlets. ever read the Bible. Pamphlets. I don't think he's read anything besides like the Outsiders. For real. Well, Tin Man's right. Nick needs a long vacation. Come back. Try and reinvent himself. Like, if he came back, if he took a couple years away, he came back jacked. He came back with a whole new way of looking at I've things. I've changed my life. I've changed my life. And, he, you know, maybe he have an opportunity to do... I just don't think he has that. Yeah. Even if he did that, I don't think he has any chance. He's f***ed. He's already on the record would, saying and doing so much stupid shit. It would literally have to be him becoming, like, a monk-style character. You know, and he would have to have live in a cabin and have the. Oh, what was his name? Francis? Francis? I think his only hope his is honestly, Francis? he needs to just do the Steve Francis. Yeah. I think he his, his hope angle. on the right wing is dead. 
Yeah, oh, it's dead. Who was working for Ye? We were barely getting paid. We were barely so, getting reimbursed. Wait, he wasn't even getting paid for this. You know what I mean? So he's just like a total buffoon clown taking orders from him. Look at that. What a guppy. What a sucker. Whoa. And we had to navigate all this stuff. <clears throat> and we had no staff, no personnel. We had no lawyers. We had no... He was just firing everybody. It's like, dude, we no need- No lawyers, no staff, no personnel, no one's bringing you coffee even. And this guy's a millionaire? F out Him. Of here. Well, whose fault is this? Like, I think you're more than Kanye. At least he has mental illness. You allowed a mentally ill person to control you into not being paid and being his slave. He basically reversed racism, you. Let's go, felt. Reverse slavery, to be honest. Let's go, felted, etc. You know, we would have these like consultants. Jaden says, "Sounds like AF, very fucking funny." Let's go, you know, felted, etc. Yeah, sector tourists were almost done. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. I'm like, yay! We need these people. Like, he'd be like, "I want a camera on me at all times." Why isn't anyone filming? Then he would fire all the filmmaker. I would bring in people to film and he fired them all one day. And I'm like, we brought them here to film everything. <laughs> so now they have, now they have lawyers. Now they have, also he wouldn't do contracts. Well, because he married a Jewish woman. Yeah. <laughs> so you would need him to sign something. He'd refuse to sign things. So it's like when I was working for him, we had this vocabulary challenge every day. Mm. This is a cry for help. No personnel, no money, no contracts, mm. no staff. Now that it's everybody else running it, uh, they got staff, they got contracts, they got money, everyone's getting paid a billion dollars, they get to say whatever they want, they're ordering escorts and prostitutes and... What? And it's like, okay, so... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can you, can he legally say that? They, whatever. That they're they... hiring prostitutes and stuff? What the? What? They're ordering escorts and prostitutes and... Yeah, it's, Alpha Mark is right. Basically, what Nick's saying is he wishes he got to work with degenerate Kanye instead. So he could have had the hookers and the drugs. Whoa. But, like, the whole thing is a huge self-felt. Because it's like you staked your reputation on this guy. Mm -hmm. You staked your followers reputation, your movements credibility, everything on this guy. And now you're narking on him that he was an idiot, a fucking psycho, and like a degenerate now that's well, that's hiring prostitutes. Like, like, what are you doing? What I'm saying is like, who's the bigger idiot? Again, Kanye's mentally unwell, but he's got power and money and clout. And you all followed him and acted like he was a god. Shitting on us for going, what the f*** is this? Yeah. Remember fucking even Ralph followed along with Kanye Grift too. Yeah. And it's like, and they couldn't even go, Kino, the, the, the Kino Casino boys were right. They couldn't say, oh, maybe we should have listened. No, it's, uh. Well, we were obviously sweep right. Sweep it up, day sweep one. it up. They all knew it was fucking stupid from the beginning. Of course But they, they were did. just hoping to get like a crumb of clout. What is like, he, look at his pause. appendages here. This pause. He's like a freaky fucking, look at his like right hand. This He's like a freaky <laughs> alien lobster monster. Look at his hand. What the yeah. fuck is going on with that hand, bro? He's the real lobster back. Okay, so fuck me, right? Like, fuck me. No, this is but, a cry uh, for help. That's okay. But that's okay. But the thing is, I wasn't there for all those things. I was there for him. So, you know, I do it all. I do it all again exactly the same way. What? Zachariah C. <laughs> that's the worst thing to say, man. He would do it all again. Exactly the same way. What the? Even though it was a complete waste of time, you, you were resources, credibility led to shame on his movement and himself he would do it all the same way all right now here we have some super chats let's I, see how look at segment. nick just in pain sent three dollars he's just in pain man that's like constipation oh. that's like trying to take a shit okay this is a fat man yes 
Is it like the angle? Can or? you do a fun rumble stream where you tell us some of her yay stories cause this shit sounds kinda surreal and hilarious? Sure. Um, I don't know if I would do a stream like that. I mean, a lot of this, I don't want to do like a big tell all because I, you know, I think that's just wrong to like. Pause! But you're gossiping about him right now. Like, where is the self awareness? You told us all we need to know. Yeah. Cash in on it. Uh, even though I wouldn't explicitly be saying that, it would feel like that's what I was doing. So, I mean, I tell a story here now. and there if it's funny and relevant, but. It was a very surreal time. Good time. Explosive diarrhea sent $3. Stop drinking coffee. You have caffeine sensitivity. You don't know me. It keeps you up all night. You don't I know me. I stopped drinking coffee and I feel much better. It also explains your sinus problems. No, it doesn't. Glus and glutes sent $3. These worsen congestion. Processed sugars like high fructose corn sugar and sucrose, dairy so Stop. don't overdo yogurt, omega-6 fatty acids so avoid seed oils from fast food, no. white carbs. Then why complain about See, he asks, like, he's like, can anyone help me? Give me this advice, da 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 And then when they give it to him, he cries about it like a fucking baby. They cr cry. And MSG. No. Cries and cries. no, I will not. No. I will not do it. Tony Corrales sent three dollars. F send O sevens in the chat for our fallen brother Zerka. <laughs> like Hector from Breaking Bad. Who <laughs> 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 said that? Oh, the chat going too fast. Sorry. Fuck. L kick. For real, F's in the chat for Zerka's kick. Come on board to Rumble. That's young Shelton. <laughs> Welcome. Raw egg grow I percent three dollars. I get that it is a bit, but the effects of raw eggs on the gut biome actually are true. No, they're not. Just try it for a week and get back to me. No. P.S. Stay away from raw milk. It's dangerous and crazy. Your name is raw egg groiper. You're literally in their pocket. You're this is like the world of schizophrenia and delusion that You're we're in. in the the Let's You're in the, in the pocket of who? He's in the pocket of the big raw egg. This is a cry for help. You're part of it, dude. Raw egg groiper jumps in. Unbiased opinion. Raw eggs are good for you. Of course you would say that. You're fuck. Who gives a f <laughs> No shit. I can't believe no shit. this is a real thing that people base their no whole life. Shit. People actually, like young guys, base their whole life on every word and whim of this fucking, fucking guy. I, I Can you believe that Pulp Fiction lover? 137 is recommending to watch a Quentin Tarantino movie? Yeah, his name's Raw Egg Groiper. Of course he fucking loves the raw eggs. Let's go, faulted, etc. Holy fuck, you dumb fucking Raw Egg Groiper. Your life is a lie. You got tricked. You eat... What the fuck is he doing? Oh, he's leaning forward. I'm like, is that his knee? Gloss and Glutes sent $3. I just looked up the other stuff, but I have Navage machine. Shoots saline water into one nostril okay. and sucks it out the other. <laughs> He's like doing the Captain Morgan and he's just suffering. Like, oh, okay. The amount of times he's having to face flaws. He's like, okay. He's a millionaire. Oh, he claims man. he's a millionaire and gets tortured with $3 super chats. <laughs> <laughs> If he has so much money, why does he need these $3? It's, like, it's, it's the Ralph fucking thing, right? If it was 20 to play TTS, but he's had to lower it to three. Yeah. All right, okay, that's the last super chat. Boo. Boo. That's... I love streaming, by the way. Streaming's <laughs> fun, guys. It's really fun. It's going to do it for me. This guy. Bruh. I'm falling asleep. I'm ready to go. Look How at this! You can see the bolts up. Bring it back. Sorry, uh, yeah, it's it reminds me of DLC. Bruh. I'm falling asleep. Bruh. I'm ready to go. Just totally. Oh my god. Like, look no. at this moment, man. No. Bald spot totally revealed. It's a Bruh. full on, like, Norwood 5 situation. By the way, like, this, this is the worst fade I've ever seen. It's, like, patchy and, like. But he's just like down oh for the my count, God. man. 
This guy butchered his hair. Like, this no? is like the level of suffering I imagine Jesus had in the Garden of Gethsemane. Yeah. When he was like praying to his father, please let this cup pass from me. Like that's the level of suffering he's trying to portray here. And this is like he's the just suffering like of head like... in his hands, just like crumpled down. And for my metaphor, this is like the the, the suffering of cloud after he's Aristotle. He's sweating in Final blood. Final Fantasy VII at the end of the first disc. Yeah. Where he had to put her into the river and she she went down the cloud. In this cloud. moment, like he's actually he's going, sweating why, blood and tears. Rock, why? Like, why? Like how you, you, you reference Jesus on like cloud with Aaron. Cloud! <laughs> the duality of this show. Duality, I did it on purpose, obviously. All right, so, oh wait, he's born. You too can live this life, young men, by joining Spoiler. the movement. Join up today and you too can be left yes. like this on the verge of fucking tears we like. leave our show <laughs> clapping thanking we're look like, at, like look let's at how go thin his, it, look at how thin his wrist is bro yeah like look at how pathetically dainty and fragile he is how long has the show been going on it feels like i've been doing this show my entire life <laughs> <laughs> two hour show when did i start i started like 11 11 20 it's like Three hour show? It's too long. Three hour show and he's just completely exhausted. We've been going for three and, three and a half, half hours. We still We're still having fun. We're enjoying oh, it. And he's just like broken.